Hey you guys, welcome back to another reaction video. <laughs> What's goody everyone? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new for the first time, my name is TMR and I would like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and most definitely thank you to all my oldies for goodies. Without you, this couldn't be. And now that I got your attention, make sure before you leave this channel, you most definitely subscribe to it. Also, make sure you click the notification bell because they go hand in hand. So every time I drop a new video, you'll be the first one to know it. All right, y'all. So we gonna talk real quick, y'all. We not gonna make this video really long because your girl gotta head out real quick. But I just, I just got off of um, Stala Omega's uh, first live performance on her new channel, Stala Omega. Sis, if you're wondering who Stala Omega is, that's Strong Mommy Chrissy. Okay. So now Strong Mommy Chrissy has three channels. So now we are privileged to yet more episodes. A star little make okay so you guys on um today on her live she was very disgusted because she saw a reactor's video the reactor is reese life and she was disgusted by what reese life was talking about in the video so to get you caught up chrissy moved to texas a few months ago and here maybe about a month ago a guy that she had casually met and became acquainted with his name is now known as bam decided to for whatever reason those reasons haven't really been clear yet because he hasn't said stout he decided to reach out to a bunch of reactors okay to basically put chrissy on blast okay so reese did a video today i believe it came out today where some of the video towards the end of it was a conversation that she had taped between herself reese and chrissy's uh ex boo thing bam you guys in that recording between reese and bam um bam basically asked chrissy if he could move into her house and apparently reese is the one that prompted him to ask chrissy that question okay so i'm assuming chrissy got mad because she felt like she was set up okay she felt like she was set up by reese through bam but my confusion with the whole thing is like look y'all i can understand her being upset and irritated because you know this information came out about a month ago and it's still being dragged along but what she has to most definitely understand and i which i don't think chrissy maybe not want to realize it although you're giving a lot of energy to reese but bam was the one sis that you were laying up with right he's the one that came into your house and videotaped your house he's the one that got super irritated with you for whatever that reason was and decided to go to youtube you know your place of business where you work at and decided to exploit you to all your basically co-workers and there's never any energy for him she spent her whole time on her live talking about reese and you know degrading reese and that's her business. If that's what she wants to do, that's her business, obviously, because she did it. But my thing is, where's the energy for the ninja? Y'all, to me, this is the typical situation where, you know how you got a man and he dating two women? And when the two women find out about each other, they push the man out the way and start fighting each other? Y'all, this is, to me, this is the typical scenario of that. It's like, you forgot about Bam. And keep focusing on the what Reese d was doing. But you didn't understand that Bam is a grown-ass man. Yeah, he didn't. Need, he shouldn't have had Reese. First and foremost, why is he even talking to Reese, right? Because, again, he was dating you. So all his allegiance should have been to you. Because, you know, I, regardless if you say the sex was good or not, but you sexed him once and since you went back for seconds. So it's just like me, y'all. If I go to a restaurant... And eat something and I don't like it, yeah. I'm not giving it a second chance. Cause guess what? What I taste the first time more than likely is what it's gonna taste like the second time. So yeah, I'm not going back. But Chrissy said in her video, 
that the first time she had sex with the man, she wasn't really sure if it was, you know, some good grade A beef because she was tipsy, right? So she decided to go back for seconds. And basically, her first encounter or first uh, reaction to the ping was actually, you know, a, a legitimate reaction because she said it was garbage then and it was garbage the second time, okay? Now, again, she said it was garbage, but in those text messages that came out, like, you wouldn't be... Now, I'm assuming, regardless if this was the first... On the first go-round with him or the second go-round, on those text messages, Chrissy forgot that she texted this man that she wanted to have his baby. Now, look. That could have been just casual conversation, or she could have just been saying that to, you know, coat that man's ego. But sis, y'all know y'all. If y'all didn't have sex with a man and the ping wasn't what you wanted it to be, why would you sit and stroke that nigga's ego when it didn't need to be stroked? So sis, if 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 the ping was garbage, what was you stroking his ego for? Look, Chrissy said that. You know, she had to get off the line because she had to. She was in the middle of, you know, doing a video for her second, her cooking channel. And, you know, you know, she had to disrupt getting her bag. Although she claimed that Reese and Bam helped her develop this third bag that she had to go. And I'm just like, sis, you stopped doing what you were doing to address foolery at the end of the day. What difference did it make? Like, you can't change what happened. Now, you coming on your channel to trying to clear up what what was said, to me, basically, y'all was pointless. Because, to me, y'all, and this is my personal opinion, the more Chrissy talks, it's just, like, the more childish it makes her be. Like, sis, just under, like, look, sis, just take the L. Like, we all had to take the L sometimes, okay? We've all had to take that L. Sis, just take the L. And you got you got caught up with a, a nigga that wasn't ish, okay? All right? And you learn from your lesson, sis, and you go on and do understand that it's just like y'all, you know, back in high school, the girl that got, you know, the girl that got caught sleeping with the with the dude uh, up under the, the football bleachers, right? Yeah, she, and people got out. Everybody started talking about it, but guess what? What's sis gonna do? Not come to school? Yeah, she gotta go to she gotta go to school because if she don't go to school, now she gotta tell her mama why she don't wanna go to school, right? But she ain't gonna do that. So she gonna go to school knowing that everybody whispering behind her back and eyeballing her, but at the end of the day, sis, you gotta own it and you gotta move on. And for whatever reason, Chrissy just to me, and it's my personal opinion, she just keeps antagonizing the situation. I do get that she feels like other people keep bringing it up. So Chrissy, she she has this thing where she feels like nobody should be making money off her name. But what, what Chrissy don't understand is this is social media, okay? Yeah, don't nobody care. Like, if, if it really was that, people wouldn't, Nicki Minaj would be upset. Beyonce would be upset. Meg Thee Stallion would be upset. You know, these bloggers keep on their channel about what the celebrities and the stars are doing out here. And yet you don't see them going on their channel telling the bloggers or whatever, you're not going to get no, you're not going to get as much money as me or whatever. Cause at the end of the day, what goes in a bank account is theirs and what goes in theirs and what goes in theirs, the bloggers is theirs. You know, y'all, I, I, I'm look, that's that girl's business. I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all my reaction about it and most definitely get y'all reaction to it down below. I just really feel like Chrissy misses the whole, like sis, you only thing that she said about the ninja was that his ping wasn't no good. Okay? Well, since he probably already know that. I'm pretty sure if you ain't told him, somebody else that told him too. Yeah, that wasn't nothing. At, at, at the end of the day, you should have really took your time. Like, she's never, all these lives Chrissy has done, she's not one time dedicated one full live to him. She has not, if because if it wasn't for him, since you got, like you said, he got a whole platform, a whole, um, username on lipstick alley sis if it wasn't for this ninja blasting you yeah you wouldn't have to keep doing live after live after live about this foolishness but yes she gives him no energy 
She has not dedicated not one live entirely to him. But yet you will go on your channel and dedicate a whole live to a whole chick. Right? Because at the end of the day, Chrissy, what Chrissy's not understanding, now, I know she's feeling some type of way, but what she got to understand is Reese is not her homegirl. Right? That's not that's not your cousin. That's not your sister. That's not your homegirl. Although Reese is a woman, but what you got to understand is Reese didn't go looking for the information. The information came looking for her. So you sis, you need to go back to the source. You need to go back to the source, which is, bam, the man that you let come into your life and disrupt it. Like, sis, you need to go to him. At the end of the day, wherever there's a leak, you need to plug it, which is him. You need to plug him. Because, sis, he was the leak, right? Everybody else is just the catchers. They just catching it. Y'all let me know what y'all think. If y'all was able to see Starla Omega's um, live and what y'all think about it, her with this whole new channel, y'all, if you didn't think it was getting ready to be some foolishness, now I will say this. She started to do the drama on Straw Mommy Chrissy, but she's decided against it. I guess she probably maybe heard a reaction to two of mine, and she went on ahead and took that garbage over there to um, Starla Omega. But I just, my personal opinion is I really feel like Chrissy is going down the wrong rabbit hole with this. It's like, sis, let it go, you know, because when you let it go, everybody else ain't going to have another choice but to let it go. But as long as you keep giving it fuel and you know what, y'all, maybe this is the tension that Chrissy won't. Maybe this is the real Chrissy that we're looking at. You know, the Chrissy that we, you know, a lot of y'all say y'all been following up for years and years and years and you missed the old Chrissy. Well, y'all, maybe this was always Chrissy. It was just Chrissy masquerading herself, and now she done took the mask off. I don't know, y'all. At the end of the day, I guess we just got to wait and see. Until the next time, y'all, I most definitely will see y'all in the next video. Remember, you guys, sub what you love. Bye-bye.